How was your day? So far, so good. How's your day been? Good. It's pouring out here. Wow. Uh huh. You know what? I'm sorry, honey, but I have to turn around. Okay. So I know this is totally weird, <laughs> but um, I'm a medium. Okay. So I communicate with people that are passed over. Okay. And I actually feel like I'm gonna pass out because oh. there's like 200 dead people with you. I wonder if it's because I'm a mortician. Yes, that would be it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get you out of this car. I don't want to like crash the car while we're driving. Oh, so. no. Just step out. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. No, you're welcome. Do you wonder if the dead can see you? Get in my car and I'll show you they can. My name is Thomas John. I'm a psychic medium and I've become a rideshare driver so I can share my gift with the masses. Another day, another mile. Coming up tonight. When I see white roses, that's my symbol for apology. Would he call you doll? Yes, he calls me doll. This is a type of illness that it's not maybe a cure for. Did he have cystic fibrosis? <laughs> this is crazy. You've been gone a good long while. Another hill, another climb. How's your day going? Pretty good. How's yours? Pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Sorry about <laughs> that. So I just want to tell you, I'm a medium. <gasps> you are. Yes. Oh my God, my stomach just did like a twirly whirly. <laughs> Do you believe in mediums? I kind of do. Do you? I, I kind of do. Yeah. And, and you can drive, too. And I can drive. <laughs> and you're driving pretty. <laughs> I know, and you can mediumize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're open to a reading, I could give you a reading. Okie doke. I'm open. OK. When you got in the car, I was already feeling stuff. But it was like, you know, I didn't know if you were even really open to it. So you felt things come through. Yes, I felt somebody with a heart attack. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I don't know which of you connects to the man with the heart attack. That but would I be my husband. Passed very sudden, unexpected from a heart attack. Yeah, uh -huh. I was there. Right. Were, the, were your children there, too? Yes. OK, yeah. I want to just tell you with him, he's with his mom. Would that make sense to you? Is she passed as well? Yeah. OK. She's basically telling me that she died of a broken heart. Is that right? I knew she died of a broken yeah. heart. Yeah. Right. I watched it happen. So sometimes people, it's like there's a, there's a connection like that, I feel. Would he call you doll ever? Yeah, hey, he calls weird. me doll. Oh, honey, yeah, because he, he said, that's my doll. <laughs> He was my guy. Oh. I was his doll. Yeah. Well, you guys were soulmates, you know? <laughs> I was the luckiest girl in the, the yeah, whole well, world. Yeah, well, you felt very lucky, too, honey. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we it's were hard. like each other's mutual admiration club. Yeah, I feel that he... <laughs> <laughs> he said that he's sorry you guys didn't get to take the trip. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. It was just a trip we were going to take just the two of us, which we hadn't done since we'd gotten married. Oh, that's funny. He just said, yep, we were going to have a lot of sex. <laughs> <laughs> that so sounds like God. Oh, that's hysterical. I'm like, that's okay. hysterical. <laughs> but, you know, I have to tell you, like, I feel like there might have been something wrong with his heart that maybe you guys didn't know. He hadn't been feeling well. Um, and in pictures, some of the more recent ones, he looked a little gray in the pictures after I saw them. If I'd really paid attention, I probably would have been able to, I don't know. Feeling like it's one of those things, I don't know if it would really have really made a difference. Even if you had gone to the doctor and right. said, look at his heart, is there anything wrong with it? Like, I feel like they would have said, no, he's fine. You must feel this guy around you, oh. though, like, don't you? Because it just feels like he's like. I just want to believe that he's 
there. Yeah, but he is. You know, even though somebody passes away, they still have feelings. Of course he misses you, he misses the kids. I would never have expected this to happen, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm really? still kind of yeah, like... shocked. Because you've come up with some stuff that there's no way you would have known. Right. What's your name? Thomas. <laughs> my name is Thomas, Thomas Sean. Thomas, thank you so you're much. You're very welcome. Oh my God, you're <laughs> wow. It was nice to meet you. Wow. Nice to meet you. You're awesome. Up until now, I was pretending that my husband was always around. Up until now, I, I wanted to believe it was true. Little snippets of information, but I just dismiss it. I always knew that I was his special girl, but I know I'm still a special girl. And I'm gonna find him someday. We're gonna be together again someday. And I don't like doubting that, and I'm so glad I don't have to doubt that. How's your day going? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. Started a business with like no money, guerrilla oh. style. Uh huh. And I had three dry weeks. And today is the day where I need to come up with this money or I'm going to get locked out of my salon. Maybe I can help you with that. Um, I was going to see if you needed micropigmentation for your scalp, but you don't. <laughs> You've got plenty of hair. I restore hair. Oh, you restore hair? Mm hmm. I talk to dead people. Oh, wow. That's what my job is. That is interesting. Or do you believe in that type of stuff? I'm open to hearing what you might have to say, mm -hmm. just out of curiosity. Okay. You know, that's it's cool. not gonna kill this cat. My business closing, that's gonna hurt. Because <laughs> <if you're... laughs> I, I wanna tell you, when you got in the car, there was a man that I felt with you. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like it was like a father figure. Is your father passed? Mm hmm Okay. You know, I just want to say this because I really feel I have to tell you everything that I'm getting, even if it's a little bit random. I, don't get, I get it. I get um, it. Just but go. I feel like, did he ever wear, like, different outfits or something? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, like, I thought maybe he, did he cross-dress? He was a gender blender. Gender blender. Okay, you're, great. You're the Okay. You're the truth. Um, you're real. <laughs> you're real because there's no way you would know this yeah because i saw your dad like i was like oh i think he's wearing women's clothes oh, yeah for <laughs> sure don't tell me extra things mm -hmm. but um i need to just understand this i don't like scary stuff is there something with your dad that he would reference that you were kidnapped this is crazy! <laughs> this is crazy! Is there something with your dad that he would reference that you were kidnapped? This is crazy! <laughs> this is crazy! But do you understand what he's talking about? If he was there, it wouldn't happen. Right. He's telling me he didn't know how bad it was. I feel people go in other states. Um, does that feel I was um, kidnapped and um, abduct or abducted was the legal term, and sex trafficked all over the United States okay. when I was a little girl. He's just saying, looking back, he wishes that he had gone out and looked for you more. Or <laughs> he feels like he should have done more, and he didn't really do enough. Don't feel bad about that, Daddy. Your dad is talking about a stroke, a hemorrhage, he fell down. Dude. Yeah. Did he pass in October? Because he, he keeps talking I'm sorry. about. Are you kidding me? He's How do you know this? He, he's talking about like something. October 9th, 2011. That was my best friend. Mm -hmm. We were partners. There's. Uh... So many times I want to talk to him. Yeah. I'm like, Daddy, I need you. Yeah. You know, I feel like you do have your dad's that 
magic that he had, you know, that he could like, I just, I feel In like my that's, own way. yeah, I think that you have it. I just don't want to be put out, locked out, and embarrassed in front of everybody. I don't want to lose my spot. When I read the energy of it intuitively, you are not going to lose your business. You'll feel him guiding you. I mean, he'll direct you. If any of the days that I needed to talk to my dad, it would have been today, for sure. And it was like, surprise. You know, <laughs> come here, talk to me, girl. That was the first time I've ever seen a spirit in like bra and panties and with like hairy legs. I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for picking me up. Of course. What do you do for work? I am a professional makeup artist and photographer. What do you do? I'm a medium. I talk to the dead. Oh, my god. I, if you want, I'll do a reading for you now. I don't mind. Are you serious? You I'm so open to it. Oh, my god, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see what I'm feeling. Is your mom passed? Yeah. OK. Oh, she's funny. She just started laughing. She said that her hair looks great. You'd be proud. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? Did you ever, like, help her with her makeup or anything? Yeah. OK. Because she showed something where I don't know if you did it at the end or something, yep. but she's bringing that up, too. Um, I see you there with your brushes with her. Who are you? There's, oh a, there's another thing that I'm picking up, too. So is your dad passed? He is. Okay. Oh, my god. Who's Chuck? That's my dad. Yeah. Did he pass before mom? Uh-huh. OK. He had, like, a little, like, a almost like a goatee a little bit? Yeah, okay. he did. Yeah, OK, I can, can sort of see him a little bit. Were you not always close? No. Um, I see white roses. So when I see white roses, that's my symbol for apology. Who's Chuck? That's my dad. Yeah. Were you not always close? No. I see white roses. So when I see white roses, that's my symbol for apology. I want to say also, OK, hold on one second. I don't know. I just feel he was like a hard ass. Being gay was not a thing. I see. So you were gay. He didn't approve mm, of it. He that. was not here for it. OK. He was in the Air Force. OK. And so I grew up very military. OK. Then disowned and kicked out and sent to Christian school for Jesus to fix me. I feel like the apology was just like how he kind of missed the opportunity to be closer to you. It's cool to hear that. Mm -hmm. um, I get it. I can't hate somebody for thinking something they didn't know any different. Mm -hmm. um, it'll just make me a miserable person. Mm -hmm. We're almost there. Oh, thank God. Um, all right, I'm dropping you here. It was nice to My meet God, you. My God, thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise, have right. a good day. I feel like a different person. Totally validated. I feel like something that I was owed for years, I finally got, and it's real. So it's like, whew, thank you. Everything is so Your day? Oh, good. So far, so good. Yeah. How about yours? Good. I'm actually a medium and oh, a psychic. Wow. I was feeling something when you got in the car. I can share it with you and we can kind of go from there. That'd okay. Be great. So, definitely getting a reference to somebody who passed before their time. They didn't have a totally full life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel a mail coming through saying, I passed around Christmas. So, would that could that make sense to you? Yes. My son, Cameron. Hmm. 
somebody who's showing me has kept like his baseball hat. And um, I feel also that I want to talk about, um, hold on one second. I don't know if it's Star Trek or Star Wars or whatever that is. I, I don't, I, I never seen any of them. So, um, so I feel like he's showing me something with one of those things, but I don't know what they are. So, um, you, you understand that? Yes. Okay. He's like, can't believe it. He's like, it's Star Wars. I can't believe you don't know that. Uh, he was looking forward to seeing the new Star Wars in December oh, yeah. so much. Oh my god. Yeah. And then he passed just right before it came out. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. hmm. He is telling me this is a type of illness that it's not maybe a cure for. And he's showing me like he kind of dealt with it his whole life. Did he have cystic fibrosis? He is telling me this is a type of illness that it's not maybe a cure for. And he's showing me like he kind of dealt with it his whole life. Did he have cystic fibrosis? Yes. He keeps showing me 25. What is that? How old he was. I mean, cystic fibrosis, it's a horrible disease. I'm, I'm mad that he had it. The two times I cried the hardest was the day he was born and the day that he died. And he is my only son. I take, I don't know, I take a lot of responsibility because probably about a six months before he passed, we had an argument because I was just trying to keep him going. Right. That's something I never forgave myself for because he was such a good kid. I guess that would be the one question, if he can forgive me for getting angry with him. Yeah. He is saying there's no anger. He totally understands where you were coming from, you know, and, and, and that it was more you were just caught up in the moment of things. I mean, he's with, like, the angels, you know? I see that, you know, that's the kind of type of level that he's at, you know? We all don't get there, you know? And this is, you know, he is definitely in, like I said, he's in a higher place. Everybody just doesn't go there. And I feel like he is saying, like, you know, I'm, you know, and so it, and it, it's not like, um, yeah, he should, it's, it's not like he's, like, showing it off. He's just saying, you know, I'm, I'm in a good place. I guess just keep keep celebrating Cameron, right? Oh, thank absolutely. you so much. Absolutely. I feel like I have to thank you for letting me connect with him because he was such a cool person. To hang. I feel like I got to hang out with a really cool person. Oh, my <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. You did. You did. You absolutely did. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You. Thank nice you. Nice Very nice. Thank thank you nice to so meet much. you. Yes, Pleasure. Too. Thank All right, you. take care. I know I won't see your face tomorrow or any other day. Thomas's message is everything I needed to hear. I still deal with guilt. I still deal with what could I have done. And to hear Cameron say, it's OK, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy and I'm everything 
I'm everything that I can be now. And to hear that just lifted a burden off my heart. I mean, like, I literally, I don't know. I feel like I got to take a ride with my son. It was amazing. I know I won't see your face tomorrow. How's your day today? Pretty good. How about you? Good. What have you been up to? Some shopping, a little retail therapy. <laughs> I'm actually a medium. No way. Mm -hmm. I am, yeah. Are you serious? How long have you been doing this? Well, I've been a medium since I guess I was born. You know, like there's a car driving down the street, you know, there's a telephone pole, there's dead people. It's like that, just part of my reality. Do you see them? I can sometimes, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'll be honest. I mean, I don't really believe that. What is it you're actually seeing? When you guys got in the car, for example, like, mm -hmm. somebody's dead grandmother got in with them. This might be more connected to you, I feel. It's on the paternal side of the family. Yes. Very strong energy, very loving energy. And I see the letter N. Oh, my God! <sighs> Her name was Nadine. OK. Your grandma's saying about her dogs or something. I don't know. Um, but she's showing me like you'd walk in and there would be dogs yes. there. Are the dogs with her? Yeah, there's two dogs with her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Was there a cat that was called Kitty? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Um, I think, yeah, there is a, there is a cat with her that oh she's... Oh, God. And she also keeps bringing up something about her teeth. I don't know if she had <laughs> something with teeth or... Yes. This, yeah. Oh, my God. After she passed, I went into my dad's bathroom and I found her teeth at the day of her funeral. I feel like she was one of the main people you've lost in your life? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was very close to her. It was just so hard to lose her. It really was because she was just always my rock. She just got me through every every phase of my life. She, 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 she uh, okay, I understand. Hold on. She's saying she wants you to connect more with your dad. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. it's almost like yes, a, yeah. Yes, it's true. It's true. Um, OK. I mean, he's lonely. Yeah, I'm feeling like she's saying she wants you to reach out to him. She wants you to keep the family together and stuff. It's almost like you're the one that can do this or something. Yes. Um, she'll guide you in the right direction. I really feel she will. Oh, my gosh. I see your broken part. My parents divorced when I was really little, and uh, my dad was really sad for a lot of years. He was very lonely. He never really moved on from his original family, which was me and my mom. Every second feels like hours. I always felt like I was the only thing that he had, and I feel like I kind of deserted him. I don't go home as much as I used to. It's just hard with the kids and work and my schedule. I think my grandmother telling me to connect with him more. That's her way of telling me he needs me, which is my gut feeling. I won't let you down. I won't let you down. I won't let you down. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. <sighs> What's your name? Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. I'm Thomas. Well, I'm a medium, and so I connect to people's loved ones, so. Is that something you believe in? Uh, it's not something that I would seek out. All right. <laughs> uh, so where do you get this gift? I feel from God. God gives different people gifts, you know? Is like, this the God of the Bible? Is this Buddha? Is this Allah? Is this Hindu? I mean, which God is it? I don't, I don't, I just feel like it's like universe, creator. I just, you know? Interesting. I'm a pastor. Oh, okay. In a church, and, um, Are you open to hearing what I'm getting for you? Yeah, I, I am, I am open to hearing. <laughs> 
it'll be interesting to see what you come up with. Okay. Because <laughs> so I'm the, very skeptical. I've had people try to do this, and I just stare at them and like, yeah, whatever. The information doesn't resonate? Not at all. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of like this cookie cutter reading that they apply to everybody that they see, and so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I do feel a female that's very connected to you, like a partner, like a wife energy. I also felt when I was connecting with her that there's a lot of issues in this area. So I would feel like either like lungs, breasts, there's a lot of pressure. That usually means that that's had to do with their passing. And she's just saying that she feels like you did a lot for her. She was blessed that she got to know you. When I connect with her, there is um, people people that are the, the same. I don't know if there's like two kids the same age or something, but she's talking about two, two kids. I think this is like a daughter or something. And she just feels like you have done a remarkable job with these people. She got like a big smile, um, but I feel like maybe that's just how she wants to be. Okay, I've, I've had enough. Is she happy? She got like a big smile. Um, okay, I've, I've had enough. <laughs> Is she happy? Oh, very much so. I mean, I just get a peaceful feeling from her. She's very connected to your kids, for sure. She's talking about twins in the family. Oh, man. This is spooky. Um, my wife died nine years ago. Okay. Of breast cancer. Okay. I've been a single father of three daughters, two of whom are twins. Okay. And it's been a struggle to take care of them, but I've often wondered how I'm doing mm -hmm. and how she would talk about how I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I've even wondered how she appreciated the level of care that I gave her when she was sick. Mm -hmm. We would drive from California to Arizona to make sure that she got treatment for her cancer. <laughs> mm. I feel like she feels like you're doing a great job. There's definitely an acknowledgement that I would have liked to have stayed longer, but I also feel like she really trusted you, and I feel like she knew that you would make the right decisions. Am I already ready? I will never forget this experience. Well, I tried my Hearing how well I'm taking care of my daughters and hearing how well I cared for her while she was alive really hit a spot in my heart to let me know that she was speaking through him. This is why I do this, because he's somebody who probably wouldn't normally come and see me, but could actually get some benefit from hearing a message from a loved one. Maybe we made a believer out of him. No, get in the back. Okay. All right, where do I put the umbrellas? Where? Wherever you want, honey. One, picky. Two, picky. Three. Ah! <laughs> I'm in. I'm pinky, by the way. What are you doing this weekend? I want to go clubbing. <laughs> cool. I love clubbing. Love it. Let me ask you a question. Yes, go ahead. 
if I'm picking up vibes on for you, would you want to hear them? What are your vibes? I'm a psychic. Uh, what are the numbers of the lottery? Well, if I tell you that, we got to split it. I can split it. <laughs> no problem for Pinky. But you know something? I don't know if I believe in them, really. I guess, you know, the police use them. And if it helps find a child or finds the murderer that they have to capture, then I'm for it. Mm -hmm. But generally, I don't know. Um, do you ever run for office? Oh my God, this is, this is, un this is, un yes. Okay. I ran for mayor of Los Angeles. So you already did that. Well, huh? I was thinking of running for president, really. Oh. You know. I have a lot of ideas. Mm. There's definitely a father energy that I'm feeling. Okay. Your dad is talking about coins? Yes! Okay, there was something like, you know, paperwork or a will or something that was hidden from you. So when he passed, yes. it was like you kind of got pushed out like a little bit or? Yes! Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's go around for for, <laughs> for five hours. I want to hear all of this. This is getting eerie. This is, oh my goodness. You're going to make me a believer. Let me bring your mind to another place. Your dad is talking about a will or something that was hidden from you. So when he passed, yes. it was like you kind of got pushed out like a little bit? Yes! Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let's go around for five hours. <laughs> I want to hear all of this. This is getting eerie. This is, oh my goodness. You're going to make me a believer. This has been bothering me because he was a very wealthy man. Not that money, you know, money comes and goes, but mm -hmm. why didn't he protect me? He didn't provide for me. So I'm sensing that he just felt that he was going to be here to deal with it. He really just did not envision that he was going to pass away. My father would be like that. He thought he would live forever. He misjudged how much your mom was going to take advantage of the situation. I see. Yeah. Now, I want you to know I have t entirely changed my mind about psychics. It was this nice was the you. best experience of my life. Oh, thank you. If you get in a mayor's office, you yes. got to help me with the, I get sometimes parking tickets. We'll see. <laughs> uh, that I don't know if I can do, Pinky. <laughs> well, thank you. All right, bye. It takes all kinds to make this world go around. <laughs> You got anything planned for the weekend? I'll just stay in, playing with my cat at home, King Julian. He poops a lot. <laughs> cool. I know this is like, sounds super crazy. I'm very much in the fairy realm. Out of his mind, there's no I know time. you. Matthew? No. No, you look like my friend Matt. Actually, you're about five to 10 pounds heavier. Okay, you can step out of the car, sir. I didn't treat you good. So I'm going to guess your favorite color is pink. <laughs> of course it's pink. That's interesting, because your aura is really more of a blue. Now you kind of got me here thinking. You have a mohawk made out of glass? Yes. I might be a little crazy, but it's a good crazy. <laughs> <laughs> People say that about me, too. I wouldn't trade you for gold. I'm a medium, actually. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> so it was That's weird, because when you got in the car, I kind of felt, I did feel there was a woman with you. Mm -hmm. My mom passed away. Oh, OK. She likes your hair. She likes my hair? <laughs> yeah. <she laughs> I look more like her now. I, uh, <laughs> she was blonde. I dyed oh, blonde. Oh, I see. When you get quiet, are you listening? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what she's trying to show me here. <laughs> Um, in a way, was she kind of quiet, like, or shy almost? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she, she seems kind of qu like she's quiet. Like, yeah. <laughs> every time I'm trying to talk to her, she's shy, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can tell that she didn't really have it, like, easy in life. I felt like mm -hmm. she had a lot of hardships. Yeah, her childhood wasn't the best, and then mm -hmm. it carried over into her adult life. Was it hard for her to go out of the house sometimes? 
Uh huh. She's showing me like being in the house a lot. She just keeps telling me that it was sudden. Yeah, it was completely. Um, like you didn't know, you didn't like have a plan that it was going to happen or something. No, she would watch my son every weekend. Mm -hmm. And when I picked him up that Sunday. I could tell she was super irritated. And with the depression and everything, sometimes she would just get like that. My whole life, she would just get like that. Monday, I went to her house. I see. And I found her. She overdosed on prescription pills. OK. She's just telling me, you feel guilty about that? I have guilt because you feel like maybe you could have intervened or something? Usually, I talk to my mom every day, and for whatever reason, I didn't talk to her. When she doesn't answer her phone, I freak out, and I go check on her, mm. and I should have called her that night. I wasn't sure if it was intentional or not, because I knew how depressed she was, mm -hmm. and it was a concern that I had been having, that like... she was gonna make a bad decision, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like, she had given up. I just like, literally, I still don't know. I feel it was like. I knew how depressed she was, mm -hmm. and it was a concern that I had been having mm -hmm. that like... she was going to make a bad decision, um, mm -hmm. but I feel like she had given up. I just, like, literally, I still don't know. I feel it was like an accident, not a suicide. I really thought that. No, honey, I don't think it was, okay. though. No. Okay. I don't feel that at all. If I felt that, I would tell you, because I wouldn't, I would, but no, I don't think so. She would do that sometimes, take an extra one, yeah. you know, oh, I'm going to take two. Yeah, you know. well, she always liked her pills. Yeah. Like, it, <laughs> like she, uh -huh. yeah, she always liked them. She's giving me this image that she, like, she's trying to help you a little bit. She feels like you're a little stuck. Have you felt a little stuck since she passed? Very. Have you moved since your mom passed? I had intentions to move. Yeah. But. It's, it's weird. I feel like she wants you to move. But yeah, it's... she probably does, because I really need to. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have an ex at my house that I tried to help, and then I have um, my stepmom at my house. And I'm turning into my mom <laughs> in mm -hmm. terms of depression. I'm always in my room now, like she uh. used to be, because I don't want to go out and see people in my house that I don't want there. So I just well, stay in my room. She just keeps telling me, you can't, you, it's like you can't help your, you can't help others until you help yourself, yeah. you know? And that's an important thing to remember. You need to get up and out of that energy. Yeah, I'm just not happy. I'm so not happy there. Try to explain. Thomas answered the biggest question, which was whether or not my mom's death was intentional. I couldn't figure out why she would just give up. And, but now I know she didn't just give up. I, will follow the sun. I hate to say that I was angry at her, but I was kind of mad at her. That's the best part of this, is I can just not be mad at my mom anymore. It makes me feel not so alone. And like, you always want your mom. So it feels good to know that your mom is with you. Short. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh. What's your name? Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi. <clears throat> so what do you do? I am a tax preparer. Oh. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weird that way. I love numbers and saving people money. It gives me purpose, I think. Nice. <laughs> I totally got that. I'm actually a medium. I'm a psychic, so I get messages from people sometimes. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> I know this is really weird, but did you lose a dog? It's interesting with the dogs. I can pick up their thoughts and, and feelings, too, sometimes. So you have a dog that passed? Really? Yeah. Yeah. I just miss him every day. Mm -hmm. So was he a rescued? Yeah, I uh, was his fifth owner at five months. Oh, wow. So he was really attached. Just even from the start, he would look at me like I was the most incredible thing in the world. And it's been really hard oh, yeah. every day. Um, I'm getting also, you guys were attacked or something? Yeah, I fought for his life with a 180 pound bull mastiff. The mastiff was attacking him and I couldn't just watch him kill uh -huh. him. So I got in between them and he was going for the back of my neck and getting my hair and bit into my arm down to the bone. Uh, we were both were hospitalized. Wow. One of the things that he's showing me is that you had to put him down. Yeah, he was suffering. Yeah. And I just couldn't handle him suffering any longer, you know? It's hard making that decision. Of course. I felt guilty after he passed. Yeah. I carried that guilt for a long time. Yeah, he said that you, um, you made the right decision. It's hard with animals, you know, because they be, they're like our family. I mean, they are. Yeah, because, um, yeah, you guys were like soulmates. Yeah, he was the love of my life. Oh, yeah. He feels like he had a beautiful life, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. There's going to be a new dog coming into your life. I just had one uh, last Wednesday, and I was told him yesterday that, yeah, I'll adopt him. Oh, I see, yeah. So he's okay with the new dog. He sent you the new dog. <laughs> he feels like it was the right time. That's awesome. Before today, I was really struggling. It's such a hard decision to put a pet down. And the fact that Thomas could kind of put my mind at ease that way, it really helps with the loss and the pain. And when he said, too, that Bailey sent me this new dog, that made it feel a lot better. This is the dog for our new family. <laughs> Everything has a spirit to it, the spirit of animals. It's funny how they come through, because it's like you, they have thoughts. It's a connection of love, so they're really connected to you, but I can just sense them. I see all these animals in spirit around you. Yeah, I've fostered over 50 dogs. Holy Is there a connection at all to horses? Probably, I was really close with one of my horses. Yeah, well, who's Judy? That was my dog. Do you ever feed your cat fruit, like berries or something? Yeah, his nickname was Blueberry. Oh, OK. <laughs> hey, hi. How are you? Good. How's uh, your day? Good, how are you? Good. So I'm a medium. You're a medium? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like a psychic? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Not the like a medium size, like a medium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shirt, pants, um, underwear. <laughs> okay. So I feel like I have somebody who's coming through that is like a friend. He's kind of got like a big brother type of feeling to him. Okay. Um, is he the, is J? How do you? I just saw the letter J. Is Julio. Mm-hmm. That's his name. Mm -hmm. He like, this is weird. <laughs> we hung out all the time and he was like a big brother to me because yeah. he was like 10 years older than me. Yeah. Because I don't have a brother. Right. I came out to only very few people mm -hmm. and I trusted him. Is there something, did, you, did your friend have some sort of issue with his blood? 
How do you know that? Um, he's... Uh, There's no way you can know that. He's telling me that he died very quickly. Yes. Like, in two weeks, he went from, like, 100 to gone. When I'm connecting with him, I feel like... Um, the other thing I'm getting... Okay, interesting. I feel like there was a secret he didn't want people to know. He's just telling me that there was a secret he didn't want people to know. But he's showing me something with, like, blood counts. What? He died from AIDS. So he didn't actually tell you that he had it? Not until he was, not until he was dying. He was a nurse and he believed mind over matter. He was like, the meds are poison. And he's like, if I believe I don't have it, I don't have it. Just like. I'm still pissed that he did that. Like, why did he decide not to take meds and tell himself that he didn't have it? Right. Yeah. And he did. I've dealt with that. Yeah. For a long ass time. It just like broke me that someone so smart would be so make a stupid decision like that. I always feel just like. Yeah. Like, could I have saved him? Right. I feel that he wants to remind you this is really how he wanted things to be. The wheels were already moving by that time, so we just don't feel that it would have done a lot. He's there when you need him, and um, he is with you a lot. I'd hope so. You say you think about me all the time. When my friend died, I felt horrible. I felt so much doubt and guilt. I was pissed off that he didn't tell me that he was sick. And he was a nurse, and he knew how sick he was. What I'm trying to tell you now is something you can ever seem to figure out. Going forward, I don't regret anything. It feels good. <laughs> It's just, um, it feels really good. Hello. Hi. So do you believe in psychics? Absolutely. You do? Yes. <laughs> You're all into that. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> What makes you a believer just because you feel like, do you feel, you feel like certain people have that ability? Um, yeah, and I've had, just had things happen yeah. before. I'm but, a medium. Yeah. Oh, you are? And oh, a good. psychic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you be open to, if I tell you anything that I get about you? Would Absolutely. You? Okay, cool. I'm feeling a male that's coming through. Okay. Um, this feels paternal to me, but I, I definitely feel a male energy that's coming in. I want to say um, I'm feeling the father energy that's coming through that I'm getting. Mm -hmm. He's in a uniform, your dad. Was he in the military? Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. That's the way he's coming through. It's almost like he wants to be acknowledged for that. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask you also, too, because sure. your, your dad is showing me this. It looks like a farm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, he keeps showing me his hands, like dirt, like callous uh -huh. hands, like um. Dad used to take me with him to do farm things and stuff like that. It was a big deal to me. Yeah. More than I was more attached to it than um, my sisters, uh -huh. I think. Yeah. He doesn't feel recent to me. Did he pass a long time uh -huh. ago? Okay. It's like your dad is showing me that he he's he's missed a lot of chapters in your life. Yeah, um, I've had <clears throat> a lot of um, accomplishments that I thought mm -hmm. I never would have, and <clears throat> I 
I know my mother remarked one time, oh, if your dad only knew. So I had a lot of that I always wished he would know about. Mm. Big things. <laughs> I always wonder, does he know all the things that have happened? <laughs> Sorry. No, honey, it's okay. I had a lot of accomplishments that I always wished he would know about. Mm. Big things. <laughs> Does he know all the things that have happened? <laughs> Sorry. No, honey, it's okay. <laughs> That's always bothered. Bothered you, yeah. I feel like when I'm connecting with him, it's like he wants you to know that he's he's been a part of things, even if he didn't get to be there in physical form. And I feel like he's um, well, no, he's been he's been definitely with you before and okay. seen some of the things that you've done. Hold on. Did you ever meet Betty White? <laughs> yes. Okay. I played on a game show with her and I won. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> so it just might be your dad's way of saying like he he knows you yeah, I got he it. knows about that. He gets a kick out of it. I always hope that he somehow would know. That. Yeah, like get a kick out of it, <laughs> yes. I just feel like. I'm gonna drop you here. Well, it was nice to meet you. Well, it was excellent. <laughs> Thank you You're so very welcome. much. Spot on. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I've had a lot of celebrities come through in readings. Why the hell do I keep seeing the doors? Oh my gosh. And he said he met Bob Marley. Yep. Ooh. Anna Nicole Smith. Oh, yes. She was a client. I've had Michael Jackson. I've had Marilyn Monroe come through. Your dad just showed me a picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon. And John Gotti came through. George Byrne. Oh, my gosh. I put on his 93rd birthday party. <laughs> so do you guys believe in psychics? We're not closed-minded. Good. To anything. You know, I was asking because I'm, I'm a psychic. That's why I was asking. So tell me, <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> Good things. What do you feel? What do I feel about, about you guys? <laughs> I see you going, hmm, what is it? <laughs> just, um, it's, I just have to, don't tell me extra things, because I just, I don't want you to lead me somewhere, but I do feel there's a father energy that's coming through, but I think it's the man's father's. Is your father passed? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a Jerry? Yeah. Who's that? That's my dad. Yeah. Is there a younger person that your father would be with? Like, did, have you lost somebody young? We lost a baby. Yeah, it's interesting, because it feels like somebody's talking about, was it a son? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because I feel like there's a very young energy. Was he born with, like, some sort of medical issue or something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he had three open heart surgeries. Oh, poor baby. Yeah, it was the saddest month of our life, like the uh, most wearing month ever. Wow. The whole family, you know? I can imagine. <laughs> when somebody comes through and they're very young, like a baby or an infant, I mean, it's a little bit of a different connection than somebody who comes through and they're like 60 years old because they have a lot of memories that they can pull from. But I do feel like I am getting a strong message from the baby. You know what will just help me? Can you give me his first name? Ryder. Ryder. He's talking about his brother that is here. Well, I don't want to scare you, but there was an accident. His brother almost died. 
and Ryder intervened. I do feel like I am getting a strong message from the baby. Ryder is talking about his brother. There was an accident. His brother almost died. And Ryder intervened. If it happened one inch a different way, his brother would be dead. And it's like he he was like, you know, he, he got in there and helped. Wow. A year ago, my son, Connor, he was in a motocross accident. He went over the handlebars and lost consciousness. Oh, my God. And suffered a head injury. Oh, my God. Um, for five days, we thought he was going to be gone. And last year on my birthday is the day that they told me that he was going to live. He's better now. Not 100%, mm -hmm. but pretty, pretty darn close. I think about that on a daily basis. It was a horrible thing and, uh, right in front of me, and I was holding him in my arms when uh, the ambulance came and everything. Your son, who's a baby, you know, he's like, yeah, I helped my brother because I saw that happening. Um, so it, it could have been very different, and it's like, that doesn't mean that, you know, every time a spirit is with us that they can change our path in life, but they have a way to sometimes guide and intervene and help. And um, do, you, do you, so you understand what I'm talking about, yes, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Absolutely. I remember hitting my knees and asking his baby brother to help, uh -huh. you know? So that it just hits home that maybe he heard me. Oh, know? yeah, I think so, definitely. All right, I gotta let you out here, but it's nice to meet you. You are it was, phenomenal. Yeah, thank Take you. care. I just kind of want to hug you. Can <laughs> <laughs> I? Yes. Some people have fought in. As a mom, your children are always with you, and they're here, but they're not. And um, now we are running. to know that he was there when my other son had his accident and help is awesome. All this has been built up since uh, you know he's passed, and I feel like a, a sense of release. Feels good to know uh, he knows, and he's mm -hmm. been watching, and he sees. I've been dreaming of something. How's your day going? It's going well. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good, just driving. So what do you guys think about mediums and psychics and stuff like that? Hmm. I believe they have their place. Mm -hmm. But as for me personally, mm -hmm. I have uh, my faith, mm -hmm. you know, my own. Uh, so I have never sought any of that out. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. I'm actually a medium. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is now, now this day is getting kind of uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Go flip. Oh, Let's ride the whip. Oh, <laughs> Interesting. You want a reading? Of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I feel like um Who's Ina? My mom's name. Okay, because your mom is coming through really strong. Is your mom passed? Yes. She watches over the person sitting with you. Oh, my grandmother? Oh, this is your grandmother, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, because I feel like she's connected to you too. Yeah, oh, he, he was our baby. Yeah. He was, she said, yep, he was the favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <She's still over>. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. My mom was my best friend. Mm -hmm. I was, would talk to my mom every day. Where's Mac? <laughs> Is there a Mac? 
oh and, my and God. grandfather. Yeah. That's your grandfather. grandfather. Same great. Yeah, your father, your dad. So yeah. When my dad passed, you know, they passed on the same day, eleven years apart. Wow. Same day. That means soulmate too. Yes. She just was never the same. Mm. After he passed, they were married forty-four years. Mm. He was everything. Have you moved since your mom passed? Yes. I definitely feel with your mom, she felt like you're questioning your move. Yeah. It took a lot of guts to start over at this point in my life. She said, bring up the six kids. I didn't know if it was your six kids or her six her kids. Her six kids. Oh, yeah. She's got, she's talking about her six kids. She showed me there's like, I feel like there's like sibling drama or sibling problems or is there problems with the six of you or something? Yeah. It's like she's showing me her house. She's showing me also, um, she left the house in a trust for you, but everybody's mad about it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She left a house for me and they're fighting over it. I know your mom's like, y'all better get along. Your mom is just telling me, like, it's almost like she's kind of guiding you, like, stay out of it. Don't get, don't even go there with them. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have no idea. I needed to hear this. Well, that's good. I'm glad. She says, go on. You've changed my life. That's an honor to hear that. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you. I've never had that experience before, never had a reading, never did anything like that. But we need guidance sometimes. You have to be open to wherever the answer comes, whomever the answer comes through. The impact of today, Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Oh my God. To know that she is still with me and the love that I felt. I am so happy. So do you believe in psychics? I don't know. I want to. Mm -hmm. It's always fascinated me. What about those ones that talk to the dead? That I need. That I really, really need. I'm actually a medium and psychic. You are? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Didn't... are you getting a feel for me, anything? All right. So let me just start um, because there's one person in particular that I'm feeling a strong connection to. So just. He's showing me um, the letter B, and he's also showing me the letter Z. My husband. Your husband, okay. Ben Z Zanwell is his middle name. Oh, wow, okay. Benjamin Zanwell. Okay. But I see with him, he's telling me that he, he struggled a lot. He had a lot of inner demons. He did. Um, depression, you know, there's a lot of problems that he struggled with. He was my first true love. Mm. I always said we put the fun in dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. We couldn't live without each other. I'm feeling like I have to bring through drugs, struggling with addiction. Yeah. He fought it. He didn't want to be a drug addict, but his addiction was crazy. He's showing me he got sober before he passed over, right? Uh-huh. He did die abruptly? Yes. Okay. Sudden death. Yeah. Getting... But I see with him, he's telling me that passing seems very unusual. I keep getting, like, chest pains. 
the night he died. He was just out of it. He was profusely sweating. I thought he was high. I thought he was back on drugs, and he told me he wasn't, but I didn't believe him. Immediately, I flipped out thinking he was lying and that he was on drugs. We were kind of vicious to each other. I said horrible, horrible things, but I didn't mean any of them. He went to sleep and never woke up, and I found him. The autopsy showed me that he had no drugs in his system. He was sick, and I didn't know it, and I thought he was on drugs. I have so much guilt. Mm -hmm. I loved him more than anything in this world, and I didn't get any closure. I didn't get to tell him I'm sorry. Does he forgive me? The autopsy showed me that he had no drugs in his system. He was sick and I didn't know it and I thought he was on drugs. I have so much guilt and I didn't get any closure. I didn't get to tell him I'm sorry. Does he forgive me? Yes, he's telling me he's left that behind. He's not mad at you. He sees it as we were really soulmates and it's okay for you to move forward. So let's fade out together Just like I said that we were It's not easy. Ben and I were more than just husband and wife. We were, we were best friends. We were everything to each other. For over 10 years, every night before I go to bed, I've said the same thing. Good night, Ben. I love you and I miss you so much. <sighs> This reading with Thomas has given me something of Ben. Told me that if you can forgive me, you would. I don't have to beat myself up anymore. Good night, my love. Rainy enough, huh? Yeah, that seems to be the big the big news today. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet. Has your dad passed? He has. Oh, yeah, because I feel your dad with you. I'm a psychic, so that's why I was asking. Oh, yeah? Mm. I would have never pegged you as uh, I don't know what a psychic looks like. No, because I, I don't have the, I don't have the, like, hat with the jewel in it. <laughs> yeah, well, not showy, not... I mean, I'm a I psychic for the normal people. Right. <laughs> Keep going. Tell me more. <laughs> Did he adopt you? Yes. I was adopted in three weeks. Oh, interesting. Do you know if there's a Leo somewhere that's passed? Yes. Your dad is telling me he's with Leo. Oh my God, mm -hmm. that's his dad. Oh, okay. Then yeah, it must be his dad then. You're really freaking me out here. That is mind blowing. <laughs> is there like a special shirt you guys buried your dad in or something or like? Well, something? we buried him in his uh, retirement Marine Corps dress blues. Oh, okay. That's crazy, man. I feel like you're in my head. Right. Do you have a photo where you're both in the Marine stuff? Yes. Are you like a kid in that? Yes. Okay. Wow, that's, yeah, that's really, yeah, I don't know, man. That's crazy that you would pick up on that. His education was through the military, but there are many times he said things to me that he would only say to me, stories that only I know that nobody else in the world he would share with that were just so spot on because he wasn't trying to help. He just shared something that was so pure that he didn't even, I think, realize he was giving me advice. Mm. Is there anything that you would want to kind of ask? <laughs> His education was through the military. There are many times that he said things to me that he would only say to me, stories that only I know that nobody else in the world he would share with. That, were just so spot on because he wasn't trying to help. He just shared something that was so pure that he didn't even, I think, realize he was giving me advice. Mm. 
Is there anything that you would want to kind of ask? <laughs> you know, there are times when it doesn't matter how old you get, you still kind of want your dad's advice. Right. Just like to be able to pick up the phone or just say, what's your take on this, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm a little lost right now because the life I've been living hasn't quite produced the results. Are you showing me something with your work? You're getting, like, a big opportunity soon. I'm not really sure. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, I feel something really big happening. He said that you should invest in some property. Well, uh, Dad, gladly. Show me the money, <laughs> and I will invest like a thief. You know me. You raised me. I am thrifty. <laughs> I will gladly invest. <laughs> I guess today I feel renewed a little bit. I feel hopeful. My dad is kind of saying, we know what's going on up here that you might not know what's going on down there, so keep chipping away. It's just gonna make it a little easier when things get a little bit difficult. Just by being in the presence of somebody, I can actually pick up on opportunities. I think that that can be very inspiring for people and very uplifting. When you got in the car, I got an immediate message that you're going to get a job soon. Oh, oh, get out of here. I feel like you're going to move. Move? Yeah, like I actually see you going to a much bigger place. It turned out that he was right. I actually now have a house in Burbank, and I never had his house in my life, never even rented a house before. Thank you, Thomas, for your uh, true prediction. I feel like within the next two or three months, you're going to get a job. Really? More stable, I feel. That's wonderful. Do you dabble in real estate? Yes. The real estate thing is to get better for you, I feel like. Oh, I like you. You were right. Uh, my business is going better than ever. There's something happening with a group of people. There's going to be some sort of winnings. <laughs> Might even hear about it, like, this week. The next day after that, I went on a game show and won $50,000. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> What's your name? My name's Tamara. Tamara. I'm Dixie. How are you doing today, sir? Driving and talking to dead people. Right on. Riding and talking with dead people. Yeah, I'm a medium. Do you believe in that stuff? Yes, yes. we do. It looks like it would be distracting. Yeah. Driving and talking to dead people. The LA drivers are worse than the dead people. Right. <laughs> oh, that's <Not> true. <laughs> Is your dad oh, passed over? Yeah, because yeah, I felt I feel your dad with you. Were you like a nurse for him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm seeing like a nurse hat, so to me that means that you're were like a caretaker basically for him. No. That's your dad. Yes. And her. My ex-husband. Your ex-husband. Mm-hmm. He's basically telling me there's a dementia or what it is, yeah. but yes. there's a co yeah, exactly. maybe there's confusion at the end. But he's basically telling me like even if he couldn't communicate. You know, he kind of knew what was going on. He knew you were there, and he was in a different state. I want to just tell you, he's like, the pain was so bad, um, but it's all gone now. He feels that you went, like, above and beyond the call of duty. That's he right. did. He was my knight in shining armor. Is there a younger person that your father would be with. Somebody's coming through that was hit by a car. <laughs> my heart is broken. Is there a younger person that your father would be with? Somebody's coming through that was hit by a car. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm getting a car impact. Yeah, um, it was my little boy. He okay. was six years old. That's how he's coming through, like a little boy. <laughs> Is he your big brother? Yep. OK, yeah, because he's saying, I'm the big brother, though. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Yeah. <laughs> he was. So how old were you, sweetie, when he passed? I was three. Oh, OK. I witnessed the car accident. Oh, yeah. <sighs> was it right by the house? Yes. 
Can I ask you a question yes. then? My son, when he was crossing the street, they said he was dead on impact, but they kept him on life support for three days. There's a lot of speculation on that. I didn't know what I should have done. Was he dead on impact? I'm not really feeling that pain registered. He's like, Mom, I'm OK. I want you to know I'm OK. He's telling me I left my body ahead of time, so I didn't have to be part of that. I've had this happen before. Sometimes a spirit will show me that if there is something like a crash or there's an accident, the spirit leaves the body right before the impact. He's, um, yeah, he hangs out around you guys a lot, I feel like. Good. So glad to hear that. Yeah, he just has a very sweet energy, I feel. Mm, he was a sweet kid. from Thomas regarding my son is something I've been needing for a long time. The way he died was brutal, but knowing that he didn't die in pain. I can go on, that was the big thing. He's at peace, so I should be at peace also. I mean, I always tell people, your loved ones are always around you. They're part of your daily experiences when you do things, when you, you know, go to your favorite restaurant, when you sit in the car and drive, when you go to work, they often join you. So, I mean, you don't need a medium to have your loved ones around you. They're always around you no matter what. You are the void I 